Greetings one and all. Uh, I'm here leaning against this tan leather chair being focused on by my ever trusty cameraman. Hello cameraman. He's good at nodding isn't he these days. I want to show you today how cost effectively, and I know you want to use the word cheaply, you can equip a room and create a little setting at a fraction of the price that it will cost you to buy a brand new chair like that, because this isn't brand new. But a chair like that in a brand new shop would probably cost you a good 800, maybe a thousand pounds. Now, I'm going to create a room setting which will cost a third at the most, and it's going to be full of really interesting items. So, this is step number one. Now, I'm going to go in and out of shot. So, cameraman, if I've gone out of shot, it doesn't mean to say I've gone to the pub. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Right, step number one. We've got the leather chair. And now we need a good backdrop. So we've got a, a nice threefold vintage screen, which I think makes a lovely backdrop for maybe in the corner of a room. Look at the original covering on that. Absolutely wonderful, no fading. Wonderful colour, studded edge against the tan chair. Now, we're getting somewhere because we can now add a good, I'm going to use the word vintage because antiques are vintage, yeah they go well. Do you like that Mr. Cameraman? This is good isn't it? <laughs> a nice tray, we laughed then, a nice tray top, did you catch that on camera? I wonder if they heard you laugh then, that'd be good wouldn't it? A nice tray top, probably would have you been used in a, bed, in a bedroom at one point but at the end of the day this can be used in any room. Nice little drawer there and slender cabriole legs, original white paint and nicely rubbed. So it's, it's, it's forming a scene now. Are we getting excited now, Mr. Cameraman? Because this is really beginning to take shape. So, this is the one I like. This, I'm going to bring this over to you. Look at that. Can you get a focus on that? Are you right with that one? Original brown leather military trunk original stitching wonderful color and a wonderful patina and it's got even the original lieutenant's name on the top isn't that fantastic but look at this red lined interior wow so now your interior is getting fun and funky because you put in a leather trunk in front of your leather chair we're getting a slightly antique slash vintage slash industrial feel. This is looking good, Mr. Cameraman, because these have just come in today as well. And this is a pair, turn of the century, nicely stylized oak candlesticks. Aren't those lovely? I'll put a light to those candles in a bit. But look how that's starting to look now. Now, bearing in mind, this is still a fraction of the price of that if that were a brand new chair, and it's all coming together. So now, you're gonna to have to have a reading lamp, because in the middle, in the evening, when the light fades, you stick your reading lamp on. And we've got a little arts and craft copper comport there, and I think for a little bit more style, we've got, oh, let me show you this, this is gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful brass, late 19th century candlestick, stylized rose. Look at the base of that. Right? Couple of pounds. There, I think, is a lovely, lovely room setting. So, I'm going to have to move that there because I can't put my feet up. So, there we go. For less than a third of a brand new leather chair, we have created all that, which I think is worth popping in any glossy magazine and taking note of because in these times of hardship and every penny counts what more could you ask for so mr cameraman if you like that do you like that right we'll do another room setting on another day so for the moment i'm going to crack on and read this and have a little break <laughs> <laughs> 